<laughs> you know, treason is a, well, it's something that a lot of people don't like to talk about, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the Constitutional Convention, the framers carefully weighed the definitional scope of treason. Yeah. Um, with the historical record of its application, they sought language that would prevent political disagreements from escalating <laughs> into charges of treason uh, and the abuses of treason law as practiced by the British authorities. <laughs> the Constitution's Article 3, Section 3 confines treason to levying war against the United States. <laughs> or adhering to the enemies, giving them aid and comfort. Mm -hmm. Now, no one can be accused of treason. Uh -huh. No one accused of treason may be convicted unless two witnesses testify mm -hmm. to the overt act or the accused confesses in open court. Mm -hmm. Now, I made a few videos about this treason that uh, you seem to think that is not enforceable. Approach. Let's say that you're running for office today. Mm -hmm. You're spending so much money to get elected. Ooh. And then the Secretary of State decides that you are going to take office when you have intentionally obstructed my rights, the rights of my family, and the rights of, really, the American population <laughs> to have you do what you've sworn. Mm -hmm. Now, I think it would be treason on the part of any Secretary of State mm -hmm, to have knowledge of child abduction, kidnapping, and violating the civil rights of American citizens. <laughs> the fraudulent arrest where I wasn't in Squim, Washington on December 31st. Yes. The fraudulent arrest where I wasn't in Brennan, Washington on uh, June 16th of 2017. Yeah. Every time he made me go to court and have a mental health evaluation <laughs> where my record, my arrest record was expunged in 2012. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, somebody thought, well, we're going to allow them to get away with uh, issuing a dissolution of marriage where the actual father of five sons was not given well, you can't take the children of American citizens. So it takes two witnesses or an open confession in court. Now, when I ask each and every secretary of state, did you know, yes, that the sheriff had been informed of civil rights violations uh, before they took office, before they ran for election, because I've been telling them for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be the King County Sheriff um, Mitzi something. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't really give a fuck who you are. Oh, is that right? Well, you ran for sheriff when John Urquhart was the sheriff, and I remember emailing him, and then I remember emailing you. Now, for King County to have all those sheriffs that allow for a sheriff to, well, you can go to prison, the sheriff of King County, Major Mitzi. Both you and your wife can, as well as the Seattle mayor. Now, I've emailed the city council of Seattle for the last two years. Yes. And I know some of them are no longer there. Yes. But each and every day I've documented lawsuits about how my rights are being violated. <laughs> now, for the new mayor, you remember the old mayor that, um, well, he had certain indiscretions 20 years ago. And some we really don't talk about anymore. But <laughs> I did actually. Oh, Ed. Oh. Now, I want every city council and all county commissioners and every oath of office that thinks it's important getting elected <laughs> that if you can't take office because I will. <laughs> so, well, why don't you go ahead and enforce the law? See, the jurisdiction of the United States. Excuse me, Major. Mm. Did you work with John Urquhart? Mm. Do you think that I can't do what I'm saying? I actually can. In fact, I could do it in the... <laughs>